So we've just finished putting up this nine foot by seven foot uh, chalet style shed. Uh, we're over in Burnham and Crouch, it's quite lovely. Um, in a minute you'll see a hyperlapse of us uh, putting in the ground screw base. You can see underneath there that the there's no base as such. We've got a ground screw there, ground screw there, ground screw there. There's nine ground screws under there. Each of those ground screws is capable of taking at least 400 kilo. In the sort we've got over here, I'd be really, really surprised if those ground screws couldn't take more than a, uh, couldn't take less than about a ton and a half each. They're uh, massively, massively strong. Uh, it's good, good soil over at Burnham Crouch. We like it over here. There's like a, a band of gravel that goes through. We have to break through it, and the uh, the ground screws bite into it. So what you've got is you've got the ground screws at the bottom there, and then there's a four by two frame. That four by two frame is then clad over with. Let me go inside. Move that down. This is 18 millimeter exterior grey plywood. So that's the floor of the shed, and um, it's just massively strong. Uh, you're going to go through it. So the cladding on this shed. Let's move it up. So the cladding on this shed, this is uh, X 16 millimeter. This finishes at roughly 12 millimeters thick. And I've just realized we haven't put the staple and hasp on it. Hang on two seconds. David, guess what we haven't done? <laughs> yeah, we, we need staple and hasp, please, mate. Oh, that's what happens sometimes. As long as you don't forget it completely, that's it. Uh, so the door on the, sh the shed, same as all our sheds, well, except for the summer houses, this is a, a legend and brace door. So you've got the braces going across the side all planks together. You've got these diagonals here. They're your, uh, they're your braces. And that stops the door from dropping. The framework on this shed is the, it's the CLS on this one. So it's 38 millimeters across there or an inch and a half. It's 63 millimeters down there or two and a half inches if you like it that way around. And somewhere on here we'll find there it is, there's one under there. Just there, you've got a grading stamp, and that grading stamp, if I tilt up, you see it better. There you go. That grading stamp will tell you that this is C16 graded uh, framework. So it's the same grade as you'd have on the uh, framework of a um, house, the internal walls of a house stud works. The roof on this, this is 12 millimeter, uh, 12 millimeter foam roof. That noise you can hear is Peter. Peter, blimey. That, is, that noise you can hear is David putting the Staple Houseman door. Uh, so you've got 12 millimeter tongue groove on the roof, and you've got these. There we go. There we go. Oh, bloody camera's pointing upwards. So you've got the uh, 30, 45 millimeter by 32 millimeter. They basically they're just to tie the roof together. The strength, the strength for the roof is in the beams going, the planks rather going that way. These uh, beams here, they're just to tie it there together. You've got one there, you've got one there, and then through the ridge of the roof, the roof let's move that up. That's the four by two that's going from the back of the shed right the way through to the front of the shed. The two halves of the roof actually go up and overlap that four by two. That's why we can walk across these roofs. We don't don't care. They're not going to sag. They're not going to move. Uh, so I've done the floor. I've done the roof. I've done the walls. And David's locking me in. David, can I come out? Lovely. Thank you, mate. So that was my microphone falling off. Do, do, do. Right. So coming outside the shed on the roof, the uh, what's it called, Dad? Uh, the covering on the roof. This is 22 kilo per square metre. Uh, no, it's not, it's two kilo per square metre. Uh, green mineral felt. With the edges of our roofs on this bottom edge here and on this edge here going up and the same at the back, what we do is we round that over right the way along so that when the felt goes over, it's not coming down like that and then going around the sharp corner coming down it comes down it eases over the corner so it relieves the stress along that edge of the roof i'm sure there was something else i need to tell oh yes on this shed the uh, client for this shed has asked that there's no hinges on the door what they've uh, requested is one of these which is one of our continuous hinges you can see there it goes right the way down the edge of the uh, door from the top to the bottom 
The screws on it, it's screwed, I'd say that's about every 70 mil, it's screwed. So that's not gonna fall off and you're not gonna get a lever in here because there's no room to get a lever. So basically, that's just about the most secure hinge you're gonna get on a shed. So, a bit, bit disjointed because, uh, yeah, because my head's a bit woohoo. But that's the uh, nine foot by seven foot uh, chalet style shed. And the next part of the video you'll see is a time lapse of us actually putting the ground screws in and putting the shed up. And we've managed to get all this done in roughly two hours. So there's no mess, no fuss. You can see how much mess we've made on the ground there. There ain't no mess. The grass that's underneath here, that will die off. Uh, all you've got to do is trim it. That corner there is the corner that's closest uh, to the ground. So that's about three quarters of an inch off. So there's no way that shed's ever going to sit in water. It's just good clear air underneath it, keeping the shed dry. So there you go, nine foot by seven foot chalet style shed. And that's over in Burnham Crouch.